This is our list of the most embarrassing moments in snooker history. Let's dive in. Starting with number 7 where Stephen Lee faced a pivotal moment in his career with a 12-year ban in 2012 after investigations into match-fixing. Lee, once ranked as high as world number 5, was found guilty of influencing the outcome of seven matches between 2008 and 2009 including a notable defeat to Ryan Day at the 2009 World Snooker Championship. Easy red, it's a... Oh, Stephen Lee, just as I say that, Stephen Lee misses the next red. It was about to... Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, Stephen the Lee. lifeline was not taken. Oh, I thought that was in. The tribunal identified that Lee was collaborating with three different groups to bet on precise scores and frame outcomes. This scandal not only led to one of the longest bans in snooker history, but also marred the legacy of a player celebrated for his skill and style. Afternoon, um, and I've just dropped my books down to a, a lawyer QC um, this morning. Uh, I'm absolutely devastated with what's happened here. Um, but, um, you know, we're going to cut it short. I'm going to be with the QC on Friday morning and uh, we're going to look at the whole whole picture um, and start making some big holes in, uh, in their, no, they've got no facts. So you totally disagree with the evidence they've developed? Oh, that's just unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, Coming up next on number six is Jimmy White, known affectionately as the People's Champion captivated the snooker world with his natural talent and attacking flair. Despite reaching the World Championship Finals six times, fate conspired to keep the ultimate prize just beyond his reach. His near misses, especially the agonizing defeat in 1994 against Stephen Hendry, have become the stuff of snooker legend. 29. White, 29. Well, did he see the title? White's struggle and resilience, battling not just opponents but personal hardships, highlight a career defined by both dazzling highs and heart-trending lows. His enduring popularity stems not just from his on-table brilliance, but from his never-say-die spirit and undeniable passion for snooker, making his story a poignant chapter in the sport's history. Moving on to number 5, Ding Jun Hoi's journey in snooker is like a roller coaster ride, with thrilling highs and some unexpected dips. Imagine reaching the world number one spot, a dream for many, only to have it slip through your fingers in just 21 days, the shortest reign at the top in the sport's history. And then there's the peculiar twist of being the only number one without a world championship crown. Despite these quirks, Ding's career is nothing short of spectacular, boasting victories in major tournaments like the UK Championship and the Masters. As he eyes the world championship, the snooker world eagerly anticipates if this could be his moment to shake off those pesky records. At 35, in the golden age of snooker life, Ding's tale isn't just about the trophies. It's about resilience, passion, and the relentless pursuit of a dream. Before we move on, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. And next at number 4 we have Tepchaya Unnor who was on the verge of snooker immortality against Neil Robertson, eyeing his first ever 147 break and a £40,000 prize. With precision and calm, he had cleared the table up to the final black ball. However, in a twist that left spectators gasping, his shot on the black veered off, dashing his hopes for the milestone and the prize money. Your technique, the black for the maximum and £44,000. Oh no! Would you believe it? Well, this episode wasn't just about a missed shot, it was a dramatic showcase of snooker's unpredictability and the high stakes that players face. This next one is not a bit unorthodox, but nonetheless we just had to include it. 
Number 3 at the Masters, a moment of unexpected levity unfolded when Ronnie O'Sullivan, snooker's seven-time world champion, was momentarily stopped by a security guard who didn't recognize him. O'Sullivan, poised for his match against Ding Jun Hoi at Alexandra Palace, encountered this humorous hiccup at the entrance. The situation, which quickly captured social media's attention, showcased O'Sullivan's playful side as he engaged with the guard, asserting his participation in the imminent match. No, it should be Ronnie O'Sullivan. Playing to that one o'clock. Oh, you're the player. Yeah, do you want to let me in? Oh uh, yeah. You sure? Well, can I just make sure you're on the list first? If I'm not on the list, does that mean I can't go in? No, I'll get permission. Are you sure? Yeah, I can get you permission. Really? I'm playing in five minutes. I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Quit. I'm gonna be late. They're gonna, they're gonna dock me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. That's it. And then my missus is gonna hate me. And the whole world's gonna end. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, you sure you're up there, yeah? Yeah, I'm all good now. You all passed in that, yeah? Yeah, you are, yeah? Cool, cheers. This incident, while brief, highlighted the sometimes unexpected intersections between the ordinary aspects of event security and the extraordinary lives of sports legends. Number 2 At the 2011 Masters Tournament, Mark King faced an unexpectedly challenging moment against Jamie Cope. Positioned for what seemed like a straightforward shot, King's execution didn't go as planned. The blue ball, seemingly destined for the center pocket, was feathered in a manner that left the balls scattered, far from King's intention. His visible disappointment reflected the high stakes and pressure of professional snooker. Some people think it was a strategic move, and King was thinking five shots ahead, but let's not get carried away. And continuing on with Mark King on number one, Mark King was suspended from the World Snooker Tour in March 2023 due to an ongoing investigation into irregular betting patterns. This suspension was specifically related to his match against Joe Perry at the Welsh Open on February 13th, 2023. The decision to suspend King was announced by the World Professional Billiards and Snooker Association WPBSA Chairman Jason Ferguson indicating the seriousness with which the sport's governing body treats allegations of match-fixing and betting irregularities. For more snooker videos, click on the screen right now.